Authenticating your emails is very important within the CRM, as otherwise the emails that you send from the CRM are likely to go into the receiver's spam folder. So I'm going to go through how you actually find out your SPF and DKIM records. To do that, you need to go to the setup menu. So you go to the small gears at the uh, top right of your screen. You click on this, then you go into the channels and email, and then you click on email deliverability, and you need to add your domain here. So this is the same as your website, etc. So I'm going to add one here, uh, which is nick at demo.co.uk and add that to me. Um, and then once you've done that, you can see that you can verify your um, domain by um, sending an email uh, to the email address you put in and you will have a verification um, verification code that you can then enter into the CRM here. I haven't, I've used a, um, a made up email address so I won't get that. And you can also then validate the records and this is where the system will give you the SPF and DKIM codes. And my advice is that you send this to your IT person or the person looking after your 365 platform and get them to put these into your uh, name, domain name server records. And once they've done that, you can then validate them. And once, you, and once you've validated them, that will authenticate your domain and your email for sending um, emails from the CRM to your clients and prospects. Hopefully that's been helpful.